All right, we're looking down the top of the little uh, lawnmower engine. We're looking right into the cylinder here. You can see the piston down at the bottom. This is where your engine starts during the compression cycle, or cycle two of a four-stroke cycle. So we've already had our intake cycle. The piston is now at the bottom of the cylinder. It's ready to start moving up again. Both valves are closed because uh, during compression, all of the air that's in here is going to get squished up. And if there's any leaks anywhere in this, it's not going to work properly. So our air pump, that is our engine, in order to function properly and get compression, can't have any leaks. So in order to prevent leaks, you've got a head gasket that goes around the top here. And that's where your spark plug sits, uh, as well as sometimes uh, you've got your entrances to your valves and things like that. Um, and that head gasket stops the air from leaking out the top here. And around the piston, you have what's called piston rings. And those piston rings uh, fit in the tiny space between the cylinder wall and the piston itself and keep compression uh, and they keep the air fuel mix from going underneath the piston. So you have piston rings that go around the piston and seal it against the cylinder here. And then you have a head gasket on top that seals up the top of your cylinder. So to get compression, you have to have a seal with your head gasket at the top and you have to have a seal with your piston rings around your piston. So what happens is your piston moves up and it squishes all the air fuel mix that's in here. It squishes it from this great big volume down to a little teeny volume until all the space it has left is just this little bitty space here that's left in the head. It sits on here like this and all that air gets squished into a really tiny space where it wants to explode. Because when you put it under pressure, it wants to explode. Just like a human being. You put a human being under pressure and they're likely to explode emotionally. You get an engine under pressure and it wants to explode. That air fuel mix wants to explode. So, and you're leading up to our next cycle, which is ignition, where our spark plug goes off and we actually get that explosion. But compression is where you squeeze that air to the breaking point right before the explosion. In order to do that, your piston is moving up in the cylinder and you've got a head gasket helping you keep pressure around the head and you have piston rings around the piston keeping pressure from seeping underneath the piston and going down into your crankshaft and your crankcase assembly down below. So that's compression in a nutshell.